The group of elements known as the lanthanide series lies at the very bottom of the periodic table. The lanthanides share some properties with the transition metals, including high melting and boiling points. They also react easily with oxygen and water and dissolve in acids. Although they are a subseries of the transition metals, the series is usually considered a separate group. The group typically includes the 15 elements from lanthanum to lutetium. Most lanthanides have a shiny silvery or pale gold appearance and are all solid at room temperature. The lanthanides are commonly used for specialized lighting, lasers, and magnetic applications. They are also called the rare earth metals because when they were discovered, they were very difficult to isolate. So scientists thought they were uncommon. In fact, the elements in the lanthanide series are quite common. The only lanthanide not found on Earth is promethium. All of its isotopes are radioactive, so any promethium that may have existed on Earth at one time has decayed into other elements. The lanthanides are difficult to isolate because they closely resemble each other at the chemical level. This similarity is due to their electron configurations, which can be explained by a close look at the periodic table. The elements are listed in order of their atomic number, which represents the number of protons in an element's nucleus. In its normal or ground state, this nucleus is also surrounded by an equal number of electrons. As you read the periodic table from top to bottom, each horizontal line is called a period. Each period represents the number of electron shells the element's atoms normally have. The lanthanide series is entirely in period six, since every atom has six electron shells. The electrons in this outermost shell are called valence electrons. It takes eight valence electrons to fill an outermost electron shell and make an atom stable. For most groups on the periodic table, the number of valence electrons an element has corresponds to its position on the table. For instance, sodium in group one has one valence electron and calcium in group two has two valence electrons. But the lanthanide series is different. Each lanthanide has two valence electrons in the S orbital of its sixth level shell but some also have a free electron in an interior d orbital of their fifth level shell. And as the atomic number of the lanthanides increases, additional electrons are added to another interior orbital, the f orbital in the fourth level shell. Each orbital in an atom is made up of suborbitals, which can hold two electrons each. The number of suborbitals determines the number of total electrons in an orbital. The s orbital is made up of a single suborbital, so the maximum number of electrons it can hold is two. At the other extreme, the f orbital consists of seven sets of suborbitals, so it can contain a total of 14 electrons. Just as atoms are most stable with eight electrons, suborbitals are most stable with two electrons. To make the most stable atom, Electrons in certain lanthanides jump between the F and D orbitals. The lanthanides are so similar because as an atomic number increases, electrons are added to the innermost F orbital instead of the valence shell. This minimizes any effect the additional electrons have on the properties of the element. Because they are similar, lanthanides need not be isolated to be useful. One of the most common uses for the lanthanides is mish metal, a metal mixture used in steel production, magnetic alloys, and vacuum tubes. It is approximately 50% cerium, 25% lanthanum, and 25% other lanthanides. Element number 57 on the periodic table is lanthanum. The atomic symbol for lanthanum is LA. A shiny silvery white metal soft enough to be cut with a knife. Lanthanum is one of the most reactive of the rare earth metals and it forms a bluish oxide. The name lanthanum comes from the Greek lanthano, meaning to lie hidden. 
Lanthanum is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table 6th row, period 6. Each atom of lanthanum consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of lanthanum, its nucleus has 57 positively charged protons, plus 82 uncharged neutrons. Lanthanum has 57 negatively charged electrons to balance its 57 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Lanthanum has three more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The final electron is found in one of seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electron in the 4f orbital is at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how lanthanum interacts with other elements. Lanthanum oxidizes rapidly when exposed to air, forming lanthanum-3 oxide, which is dark gray in color, as seen here. In reactive metals such as lanthanum, the oxide spalls constantly exposing fresh metal. Spalling is the spontaneous separation of a surface and it allows corrosion to continue unabated. Lanthanum is used to make lights used in the motion picture industry for studio lighting and projector lighting. It increases the brightness and provides light very similar to sunlight. Because it gives glass refractive properties and is resistant to alkalis, lanthanum oxide is used in manufacturing camera lenses. Lanthanum is also used to make flints for lighters. The dream of traveling to the moon has long sparked the human imagination. To chronicle space travel in the motion picture from the Earth to the moon, the producers wanted to capture the drama and meet the viewers' expectations of the actual events of the first Apollo moon landing. The producers wanted viewers to do more than see a movie about landing on the moon. They wanted them to experience the terrain of this celestial body. No details were spared. The film crew worked closely with NASA, even borrowing a real lunar module for the set. They trucked in tons of dirt and rocks to simulate the surface of the moon and duplicate the lunar landing site. Actors wearing genuine Apollo spacesuits were attached to huge helium balloons to create the experience of lower gravity. All of this would be nothing, however, without the art of lighting. This movie set required a light source powerful enough to illuminate a space the size of an airplane hangar, yet sharp enough to appear inches away from the astronauts emulating the confined environment inside the space capsule. Lighting designers achieve such precision by using carbon arc lamps. These high-intensity lamps contain the element lanthanum. Their intense white light is due to compounds of this rare earth metal. A carbon arc lamp uses an electric spark to generate heat between two carbon electrodes. The heat causes the electrodes to vaporize and burn. Lanthanum is inside the carbon rods and acts as a conductor. The reactivity of the lanthanum causes the lamp to burn brighter than with just the carbon by itself. Lighting was especially important in recreating scenes on the moon. Objects cast darker shadows because the moon has no atmosphere. The chemical properties of lanthanum and other rare earth elements have helped us get a glimpse into another world. Element number 58 on the periodic table is cerium. The atomic symbol for cerium is CE. Cerium is a gray metal that tarnishes in air. 
It is very reactive and burns if scratched. Shortly before the element cerium was discovered, an asteroid called Ceres was first observed in 1801. The element is named after the asteroid. Cerium belongs to the lanthanide group. It lies in the periodic table sixth row, period six. Each atom of cerium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of cerium, its nucleus has 58 positively charged protons, plus 82 uncharged neutrons. Cerium has 58 negatively charged electrons to balance its 58 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Cerium has four more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining two electrons are found in two of seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how cerium interacts with other elements. A thin oxidized layer which formed on the exposed surface gives this cerium sample a slightly dull appearance. Cerium is so reactive that it easily oxidizes in air. Here, the metal is scratched with the blade of a knife to expose the surface. Heated by the friction of scraping, the cerium immediately ignites, producing sparks as the fragments oxidize to form cerium oxide. Because it reacts with air when scratched, cerium is the primary component of mish metal, the material used to make lighter flints. Cerium can also be used as a catalyst in petroleum refinement, as well as in the manufacture of glass and lighting for motion picture studios and projectors. Cerium oxide is an important component of incandescent gas mantles and self-cleaning ovens. Element number 59 on the periodic table is praseodymium. The atomic symbol for praseodymium is PR. Praseodymium is a soft, reflective, silvery metal. Because it forms a green oxide, Praseodymium is named from the Greek praseos, meaning green, and didymos, meaning twins. Praseodymium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table 6 row, period 6. Each atom of praseodymium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of praseodymium, its nucleus has 59 positively charged protons, plus 82 uncharged neutrons. Praseodymium has 59 negatively charged electrons to balance its 59 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Praseodymium has five more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining three electrons are distributed among three of the seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Only the two valence electrons in the 6s orbital shell influence how praseodymium interacts with other elements. Praseodymium is used in the production of didymium glass, used in glassblower's goggles. These special goggles only block light from a specific part of the visible spectrum. Sodium atoms in the glass emit orange-yellow light when they are excited by the heat from the torch. Here, we can see the effect these goggles have on reducing the sodium glare. The goggles filter out the yellow wavelengths of light. The didymium glass allows all other light to pass through unaffected, so the glass blower can see what he is doing more clearly. 
Praseodymium's primary use is as an alloying agent with magnesium to create high-strength metals that are used in aircraft engines. Praseodymium is used in the production of didymium glass used in glassblower's goggles. Praseodymium is also used in other ceramics and glazes to produce brilliant pastel colors, particularly shades of yellow and green. Praseodymium metal can be used for film studio lights, searchlights, and floodlighting, and is used in alloys for permanent magnets. Element number 60 on the periodic table is neodymium. The atomic symbol for neodymium is ND. A bright silvery metal, neodymium, readily oxidizes in air. Neodymium takes its name from the Greek words neos and didymos, which mean new twin. Neodymium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of neodymium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of neodymium, its nucleus has 60 positively charged protons, plus 82 uncharged neutrons. Neodymium has 60 negatively charged electrons to balance its 60 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Neodymium has six more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the spherical 6s orbital shell. The remaining four electrons are distributed among four of the seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. The two valence electrons in the 6s orbital shell influence how neodymium interacts with other elements. Neodymium is best known for its strong magnetic properties. In this experiment, a ferromagnetic fluid reveals the lines of force around very strong neodymium magnets, causing a hedgehog effect in the fluid. Neodymium is a component of didymium glass, which is used to make goggles for welders and glass blowers. It can also be added to glass, enamels, and glazes to add color. Some types of neodymium glass are used to create artificial rubies for lasers. And neodymium is a key component of permanent magnets in electronics and currency detectors. The United States dollar is one of the most recognizable currencies in the world. Our currency is very traditional, one color on each side, the same size all the time, the same people depicted. Uh, it is something that we value, it's uh, the American public values. There's a sense of trust, faith, confidence that we have in that currency. And we don't take lightly to the idea of change. And it is one of the world's most valuable. This makes it a ripe target for counterfeiters. Currencies around the world use different methods to protect their value and identify fakes. The red plastic window in this Brazilian note can't be reproduced by a copier or scanner. Neither can the watermark on the British pound. Intricate color schemes, complex designs, and a variety of sizes are other security features. The United States relies on several measures to safeguard its paper money. One of the most basic is magnetism. The secret is in the ink. And it's a well-kept secret. But the basic principle is that ingredients in the ink used to print US currency has some magnetic properties. The magnetic signature is a first line of defense in the battle against counterfeiters. And permanent magnets made of neodymium are an invaluable weapon. Neodymium iron boron magnets, known as NIB magnets, are the strongest magnets made. 
They are so sensitive that a very small one can detect the magnetic field of a dollar bill, including its denomination. Bills suspected of being counterfeit are sent to the U.S. Secret Service, where tests are run. Here in Counterfeit Division, we see everything ranging from this highly deceptive $100 note that's produced in Colombia, all the way down to this inkjet produced counterfeit $100 note that was probably produced in someone's basement or garage. At the Secret Service, workers compare every new fake bill to samples on file, searching for patterns and clues that may lead to the counterfeiters. It may take months or even years before a counterfeit ring is broken, but detection is key. And thanks to neodymium magnets, fake money stays out of the mainstream. Element number 61 on the periodic table is promethium. The atomic symbol for promethium is PM. This rotating disk is covered with a luminous paint containing promethium. It is a radioactive metal that can glow pale blue or green, as seen here. Promethium is named after the Greek mythological figure Prometheus, who gave fire to mankind. Promethium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table sixth row, period six. Each atom of promethium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of promethium, its nucleus has 61 positively charged protons, plus 84 uncharged neutrons. Promethium has 61 negatively charged electrons to balance its 61 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Promethium has seven more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the spherical 6s orbital shell. The remaining five electrons are distributed among five of the seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how promethium interacts with other elements. One of the isotopes, promethium-147, is a low-energy beta emitter often found in luminous paint, glowing pale blue or green. This drawer is full of cells containing luminous paint. When zinc sulfide phosphor is activated with beta radiation from promethium-147, it provides self-sustaining light sources that are used as nocturnal illumination devices. Promethium does not occur naturally on Earth, although it has been detected in the spectrum of a star in the constellation Andromeda. This synthetic existence currently limits Promethium's applications. In the past, Promethium has been used in control dials of electric blankets and in Swiss watches to replace radium paint. Promethium could be used to make a nuclear-powered battery, and it is expected that this type of battery could provide power for five years. Promethium could also potentially be used as a portable X-ray source and as a heat source for auxiliary power in satellites. Element number 62 on the periodic table is samarium. The atomic symbol for samarium is SM. Samarium is a silvery white metal that forms an oxide layer in moist air. Samarium is named for the mineral samarskite from which it was first extracted. Samarium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of samarium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of samarium, its nucleus has 62 positively charged protons, plus 88 uncharged neutrons. Samarium has 62 negatively charged electrons to balance its 62 protons. 
These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Samarium has eight more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining six electrons are found in six of seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the six electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this sixth level shell influence how samarium interacts with other elements. A fresh sample of samarium is compared to one that has been exposed to air for a few weeks. The exposed sample is dull in comparison, showing how it tarnishes over time. When coupled with cobalt, samarium produces magnets that are 10,000 times more powerful than iron and have the highest resistance to demagnetization of any known material. Samarium is a component of film studio lights, ceramics that absorb infrared light, and control rods that absorb neutrons in nuclear reactors. Samarium cobalt permanent magnets were once used in headphones and motors, but neodymium iron boron magnets are replacing them because they are cheaper and more powerful. Samarium magnets are still used in microwaves because they keep their magnetism at high temperatures. Element number 63 on the periodic table is europium. The atomic symbol for europium is EU. Europium is a soft, silvery metal. A sample of crystals with a green oxide coating is shown here. Europium is named after the continent, Europe. Europium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of europium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of europium, its nucleus has 63 positively charged protons plus 90 uncharged neutrons. Europium has 63 negatively charged electrons to balance its 63 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Europium has nine more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons are found in the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining seven electrons are distributed among the seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Only the two valence electrons in the 6s orbital shell influence how europium interacts with other elements. Europium oxidizes rapidly as soon as it is exposed to air. Here, the metal is shown over a period of eight hours. First, it reacts with oxygen, and then the oxide combines further with carbon dioxide to produce a yellow carbonate. Europium metal has no commercial applications, but europium oxide is widely used with yttrium as a red phosphor in television sets. Today, it is impossible to picture life without television. This box of light and sound keeps us informed and entertained. But TV is a relatively new invention, and color television is barely 50 years old. TV was first introduced to the public at the 1939 World's Fair in New York. Development went on hiatus during World War II, but when the war ended, the television industry exploded. The first televisions were small and showed pictures in black and white. Television cameras originally used vacuum tubes to create video signals from images. Light striking the front of a glass tube coated with a photosensitive compound would leave an electric charge in the coating. A beam of electrons scanned the tube from behind and turned the image into a stream of electric current. 
Inside a television set, a similar beam of electrons transmitted the image information onto the glass screen. The electron beam scanned back and forth across the screen, and it activated phosphor on the screen, which lit up. The glowing phosphor created the image viewers could see. But the world was full of brilliant color, and only color TV could capture what reality looked like. In 1954, RCA was one of the first companies to produce color TV. The basic operation is the same as black and white television, but a few adjustments allow the transmission of color images. A color TV is coated in phosphor, but it uses three phosphors instead of one, and each gives off red, green, or blue light. Europium is the primary component of the red phosphor. In a color camera, a prism splits the image into red, green, and blue light. Splitting the light allows the electronic signal to encode color as well as brightness. When the electronic signal reaches the TV set, the electron beam strikes either the red, green, or blue phosphor, depending on the signal. The blending of colors on the screen gives an accurate color image. Television has taken a permanent hold in human society. With the help of europium, we get an accurate image of the colorful events that change our lives. Element number 64 on the periodic table is gadolinium. The atomic symbol for gadolinium is GD. Gadolinium is a soft, shiny, silvery metal. It forms a flaky oxide layer in air. Gadolinium is named after Johann Gadolin, who investigated the first rare earth mineral, now named gadolinite. Gadolinium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of gadolinium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of gadolinium, its nucleus has 64 positively charged protons, plus 93 uncharged neutrons. Gadolinium has 64 negatively charged electrons to balance its 64 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Gadolinium has 10 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The next seven electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. The final electron is in the clover-shaped 5d orbital. The electrons in both the 5d and 6s orbitals influence how gadolinium interacts with other elements. Temperature affects the magnetic properties of some elements. Here, a sample of gadolinium is attached to a string near a magnet. When the gadolinium is heated using a gas torch, it loses its magnetism. The sample is then cooled using liquid nitrogen and regains its magnetism. Gadolinium is a key component of computer storage disks. A screen of gadolinium is used in neutron radiography, a medical diagnostic technique. It is also used in MRIs. Two isotopes of gadolinium, 155 and 157, are sometimes components of nuclear reactor control rods because they have outstanding neutron absorbing capabilities. Element number 65 on the periodic table is terbium. The atomic symbol for terbium is Tb. Terbium is a silvery metal that is soft enough to cut with a knife. It slowly oxidizes and reacts with cold water. Terbium is named after Itterby, Sweden, where it was discovered. Terbium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. 
Each atom of terbium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of terbium, its nucleus has 65 positively charged protons, plus 94 uncharged neutrons. Terbium has 65 negatively charged electrons to balance its 65 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Terbium has 11 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining nine electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the nine electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how terbium interacts with other elements. Terbium demonstrates magnetic properties and can be lifted and rotated with a magnet. However, terbium is slightly less susceptible to the attractive pull of the magnet than some other lanthanides. Terbium is a component of lasers and low-energy light bulbs. Some terbium alloys lengthen or shorten when exposed to magnetic fields. This property may one day be exploited for tiny motors or pumps. X-ray imaging screens that use terbium require less radiation to create an image, thereby reducing the patient's exposure to damaging X-rays. Terbium iron cobalt alloys are used in magneto-optical storage systems, which can store 15 to 20 times more information than conventional magnetic hard disks. Element number 66 on the periodic table is dysprosium. The atomic symbol for dysprosium is dy. Dysprosium is a bright silvery metal that oxidizes in air, reacts with cold water, and dissolves rapidly in acid. Dysprosium's name comes from the Greek word dysprositos, meaning hard to get, since extracting it was very difficult. Dysprosium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of dysprosium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of dysprosium, its nucleus has 66 positively charged protons, plus 96 uncharged neutrons. Dysprosium has 66 negatively charged electrons to balance its 66 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Dysprosium has 12 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining 10 electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the 10 electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this sixth level shell influence how dysprosium interacts with other elements. Dysprosium is commonly used in the surface coatings of hard drives to enhance their magnetic properties. Multiple disks covered in a thin film containing dysprosium are shown in a notebook hard drive. As they spin at high speed, the heads move back and forth, reading and writing data in a circular pattern of magnetic bits on the ultra-flat surface. In addition to hard disks, dysprosium is commonly used for very high-intensity lights, called halide discharge lamps. In nuclear reactors, dysprosium is used as a cermet, which controls the nuclear reaction by absorbing neutrons. Element number 67 on the periodic table is holmium. The atomic symbol for holmium is HO. Holmium is a bright, soft, silvery metal that dissolves in acids and slowly reacts with oxygen and water. 
Holmium's name comes from Holmia, the Latin name for the Swedish city of Stockholm where its source minerals are found. Holmium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table 6th row, period 6. Each atom of holmium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of holmium, its nucleus has 67 positively charged protons, plus 98 uncharged neutrons. Holmium has 67 negatively charged electrons to balance its 67 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Holmium has 13 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining 11 electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how holmium interacts with other elements. In certain configurations, holmium has the highest magnetic strength of any element. This is demonstrated when pieces of holmium metal are lifted and rotated using a magnet. Holmium is used to produce magnets and create magnetic fields. It burns up in a nuclear reactor and can keep reactions under control. Lasers containing holmium are used in surgery. Element number 68 on the periodic table is erbium. The atomic symbol for erbium is ER. Erbium is a bright silvery metal that dissolves in acids and slowly reacts with oxygen and water. Erbium is named after the town of Itterby, Sweden, where it was discovered. Erbium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of erbium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of erbium, its nucleus has 68 positively charged protons, plus 99 uncharged neutrons. Erbium has 68 negatively charged electrons to balance its 68 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Erbium has 14 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining 12 electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this sixth level shell influence how erbium interacts with other elements. A sample of erbium is placed into a vial of diluted nitric acid. The fizzing reaction releases hydrogen gas. Erbium nitrate will build up in the solution, producing the pink color seen in the second vial. Erbium compounds are used for coloring glasses and porcelain enamel glazes. Erbium is alloyed with metals such as vanadium because it makes them more workable. It is used in night vision goggles, converting infrared light to a green color. Erbium lasers are used in medical and dental surgery. The laser's wavelength of 2.9 micrometers is strongly absorbed by water, so it resists overheating. The isotope erbium-167 is good for absorbing neutrons, so it is used to make nuclear reactor fuel rods with extended lives. Element number 69 on the periodic table is thulium. The atomic symbol for thulium is Tm. Thulium is a bright silvery metal that is soft enough to be cut with a knife and reacts with water. 
Thulium's name comes from Thule, the ancient name for Scandinavia where it was discovered. Thulium is classified as an element in the Lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table 6 row, period 6. Each atom of thulium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of thulium, its nucleus has 69 positively charged protons, plus 100 uncharged neutrons. Thulium has 69 negatively charged electrons to balance its 69 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Thulium has 15 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining 13 electrons are found in seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this six-level shell influence how thulium interacts with other elements. Thulium has relatively weak magnetic properties. Pieces of thulium are attracted to a magnet at short distances, and they can easily be separated again. Thulium finds little use outside of research because it is very rare. Thulium-doped calcium sulfate can be used in personal radiation dosimeters, which detect very low levels of radiation. Irradiated thulium can be used as a portable X-ray source for medical purposes. Thulium is also a component of some lasers. Element number 70 on the periodic table is a terbium. The atomic symbol for a terbium is YB. A terbium is a soft, silvery white metal that is stable in air due to its protective oxide layer. A terbium's name comes from the town of Itterby, Sweden, where the element was first discovered. A terbium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row period six. Each atom of a terbium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of a terbium, its nucleus has 70 positively charged protons plus 100 uncharged neutrons. A terbium has 70 negatively charged electrons to balance its 70 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Iterbium has 16 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The remaining 14 electrons fill seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. Since the 14 electrons in the 4f orbital are at a lower energy than those in the 6s orbital, only the two valence electrons in this sixth level shell influence how ytterbium reacts with other elements. A solid piece of ytterbium will ignite under a gas flame and produce a brilliant flash of red light. This reactivity is characteristic of the lanthanide metals group. Fine powders of these elements are considered a hazard because they spontaneously catch fire. Iterbium finds little commercial use because it is so rare. It is sometimes added to steel to strengthen it. Some iterbium alloys are useful in dentistry. Element number 71 on the periodic table is lutetium. The atomic symbol for lutetium is Lu. Lutetium is a silvery white metal. It is the hardest of the lanthanides and it resists corrosion in air. Lutetium's name comes from Lutetia, the Roman name for Paris, where it was discovered. Lutetium is classified as an element in the lanthanide series. It lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. 
Each atom of lutetium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all of the atom's mass. In the most common form of lutetium, its nucleus has 71 positively charged protons plus 104 uncharged neutrons. Lutetium has 71 negatively charged electrons to balance its 71 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed in five orbital shells. Lutetium has 17 more electrons than xenon. The first two electrons fill the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. The next 14 electrons fill the seven lobe-shaped 4f orbitals. The final electron is found in one of five clover-shaped 5d orbitals. The electrons in both the 6s and 5d orbitals influence how lutetium interacts with other elements. Lutetium is the last element in the lanthanide series, so its physical properties differ from the rest of the lanthanide elements. Unlike several other lanthanide metals, lutetium does not exhibit magnetic properties. These pieces of lutetium are not attracted to the nearby magnet. Lutetium is the most expensive metal in the world and has limited uses outside of research. When it is exposed to neutron activation, lutetium emits pure beta particles. This property is useful for oil refining. Lutetium-177, a radioactive isotope, may one day be used in radiotherapy.